All right, here we are. She's looking good. Not bad, eh? Let's go take a look inside. So I hiked uphill a few steps, maybe uh, 20 feet, and it looks like a little furry friend here has been through here several times. You can see he's got a little highway going right through here. There's little mouse tracks here in the snow. They go off over here and they disappear into a hole. Right at the base of that tree. It's hard to see because of the shadow, but you can tell it's a mouse because it's so tiny. And you can see the little tail marks where the tail drags in the snow. So here's my mound of snow. I think it's big enough now, at least to get started. I'm going to put the entrance in over here, away from the prevailing winds. Prevailing winds come from that direction. You can see I've started to dig out a little spot here. So that's where I'll put the entrance. And um, yeah, whatever snow I pull out of there, I put it back on top so it slowly gets bigger as I carve it out. That way there it saves me a little bit of work. So there she is. Alright, so like I said, I think the, uh, the amount of snow was big enough. Hey Hunter, no thanks to him. Hey, you didn't help pile any snow. No. Alright, off you go. So it's time to start carving. Pretty simple. Okay, you're gonna have to get out of the way, buddy. And we'll just throw that back on top. Once things are a little more carved out, we'll have to be a lot more gentle when we put stuff on top. We don't want to cave the, um, the Quincy in on us. So you'll have to forgive me if I call it an igloo instead of a Quincy. I actually only learned that a Quincy was a thing uh, a number of years ago. Growing up, uh, my best friend, my brother and I, we'd go outside almost every day after school or on weekends and we'd say, let's go build an igloo and this is what we would do. So I may still slip up called an igloo. It is in fact Quincy and igloos when you take your blocks, pile them up. Quincy is when you just make a mound of snow and carve that out. Um, you guys might be wondering, why? Why would I want to do this? Well, with uh, with COVID, uh, they told us we should be isolating. All right, bad joke. Really bad joke. It's too cold to be making jokes. So cold, it's snow joke. Right? Oh, yes. They're only going to get worse from here, Hunter. All right, let's get carving. spending one night in here with Hunter 
so this thing only needs to be big enough for the two of us. Uh, I figure the closer we are together anyways, the more body warmth we'll have, so the better it'll be for both of us. Uh, so I don't plan on making it very big, literally just big enough to fit inside. I've got a big uh, cozy comforter that I brought up on the toboggan. We'll lay that down, sleeping bag, uh, and we've got the foam, uh, the foam roll that'll go on the bottom too. So, And if I need to, if I find that's still too cold, still too much cold coming up through the ground, then uh, I can get some uh, boughs off the trees and lay them down. All right, I'll check back in in a little bit. Things are coming along. I'm, uh, I've used the shovel up to this point. Now that things are getting a little more uh, complete, I like to crawl in, use my feet, and just scrape the tops. That way I can control my movements a little better than if I'm using the shovel. As well by keeping my body out. If the thing caves down on me, I'm safe. So uh, once I get more of the top part here carved out, I'll feel more comfortable climbing in. And then we'll be ready to sleep soon. We can set it up for tonight. I guess you guys are wondering why Quincy's or Igloo's are round and not square. Well, the answer is simple. Corners are 90 degrees. And 90 degree Igloo is just not going to survive. It's too hot. Sorry. <laughs> All right, check back in soon. Yeah, are you getting tired of the bad jokes? Yeah. I'm sure everybody is. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. This is basically all I do. Take my foot, shave the sides, make sure some nice smooth sides, but I also get a lot more control than if I was doing it with the shovel. Alright, it's getting close to lunchtime. I'm getting pretty hungry. I think Hunter would agree too, so. Gonna get a fire going and uh, probably throw on some homemade sausage. So let's get this started. I'll check in when I've got some nice coals and show you what I'm gonna do with the sausage. All right, I've got a fire going. Not too hard when you've got a nice piece of birch, birch bark using a lot of uh, old spruce, some cedar, some pine. Stuff lights like crazy. And starting a fire is not something I've ever had trouble with. Let me, uh, I'll tell you guys about a story of me and a very large fire when I was younger, when I was, I think around nine or 10. Anyways, I'll tell you about that in one of my future videos. But uh, yeah, needless to say, I learned a lot that day. Hey guys, it's lunchtime. It's cold. Uh, the wind's picked up, so that means it's minus 21 today with no wind chill, and with the wind chill, I think they said it's minus 34. So, um, yeah, it feels like minus 34. I'm gonna make some lunch. Uh, I'm gonna make the fire a whole lot bigger. And uh, I don't even know if I'm in focus right now. My eyes are all watery and blurry from the cold wind. Anyways, hopefully. And uh, so, yeah, let's make some lunch. Got my brand new frying pan. Comes with these little plates, spork, spatula that you put together. Don't think I'm going to use that today anyway, so we'll just keep that out of the way. Yeah, I found this at, I think it was Cabela's, because I don't think Mech had anything that I liked. Yeah, so Cabela's, which is the same as Bass Pro Shops. There's no coating on it, just pure stainless steel, so perfect to go on the fire. Homemade sausage. My wife and I made these before Christmas. This is our sweet Italian blend. Throw two of these puppies on. I'm definitely going to share with Hunter. Save two for later. Get that going in a minute. I brought some duck fat. Throw a bit in there.
and we'll throw it on the fire. Look at that guys, looks amazing. Magic ingredient, other than the homemade sausage, sauerkraut, right in there. Lots of it, that stuff's good. Throw on a little more duck fat, I'll put it back on the fire for a few more minutes and then we're golden. Then we're gonna feast. And there she is. Looks fantastic, I can't wait. I'm going to uh, stop filming while I eat this, I'm too cold. So I just wanna get this food in me and then uh, hunt, get Hunter and I warmed up and we'll check in later on. <laughs> Snowbanks here. Kind of reminds me of sand dunes. Yeah, it's very pretty. You can see here, there's deer trucks all over the place in the forest here. And you can see right here, there's three kind of indents in the snow. It looks like a couple deer might have hunkered down there. Looks like another one might have hunkered down right over here. Under this tiny little spruce. Not fresh anyways, uh, there's fresh snow on it. It snowed about five centimeters last night, so it was definitely before yesterday. So the deer are definitely around. further back and then I just passed two as well. They, these four were together but they split up when they saw me coming. It's an interesting set of tracks here. I don't know what they are for sure. They look like they could be raccoon, maybe fisher, pine marten, I'm not actually sure. If anybody knows for sure, uh, let me know in the comments below. There they are there. You can see here, a little set of squirrel tracks across the snow, under the tree. And it disappears, so probably up the tree. See here, there's a set of mouse tracks in the snow. Comes down here. Then, whoop, there's a mouse maze where he was running around, probably searching for something. And then it just continues on. Seen all kinds of tracks on this trip. Oh man, it is cold today. I was just over by the fire warming up. Um, the fire feels great, but as soon as you step away from it, my goodness. Wowzers, it's cold. Feels like the Arctic. Worse than the Arctic. Mind you, I've never been to the Arctic, so I don't know. 
if you were the captain of a ship in the Arctic, which vegetable would you not allow on your ship? Leeks. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> All right, this is looking great in here. It's coming along. Big enough for the two of us. I'm gonna keep carving for a little bit, but you get the idea. I'll show you guys again when it's done. Who's the snowman's favorite ant? Antarctica. <laughs> Ever wonder what the snowman and his wife hung over their baby's crib? A snowmobile. All right guys, so this will be home for the night. I've got our blankets in here. I've got my uh, clothing bag up here that I'll use as a pillow, so that should work. I've got room in behind me here for Hunter, so I think what the plan is, um, I'll get him in behind me. I'll lay across the front here, and I don't think we need any, there's no wind on this side because uh, the prevailing winds are behind us, that's why I put the door over here. So I think we should be okay. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. This should be fun. I haven't actually slept in a Quincy or when I was a kid and we called them igloos. I haven't actually slept in one of these since I was a kid. Back then we did it all the time. I don't know if we ever made it through the night. At some point we'd usually go in because we were cold, but we tried and it was fun. Yeah, since we're doing uh, bad jokes, here's another one. What do you call an igloo without a toilet? An egg. There's no loo. <laughs> so I guess this is an egg. Well, good thing it's a Quincy because I'd hate to have to call it an egg the rest of the time. All right, time to, uh, I guess, just unpack everything and get settled in. It's a great little spot. Beautiful forest, very hilly. I don't know why I picked such a hilly spot. It was brutal trying to get up here, pulling that sled behind me, but huh, it's part of the fun, right? So, yep, that's it for now. <laughs> We're doing it. Hunter, yeah, very, very happy to be out of that uh, Quincy, sorry, not an igloo, or an egg. Yeah, I enjoyed it, it was fun. Hunter woke up a few times, I think he was trying to get outside. I was worried he might cave the whole thing in on us, but he settled down enough, he wasn't too bad. So, uh, plan is we're just gonna pack everything up. Um, I'm not even hungry actually, so. I don't even think I'll worry about making any breakfast right now. Might just grab breakfast on the road and uh, that's it. Hopefully we can do this again. Like and subscribe. Uh, if I don't check in again, then we'll see you on the next video. All right guys, thanks very much. looking for. Hunter, what are you doing? Hi buddy, welcome back. Yeah, you ready? Let's go.